Thought I'd do this for all my American friends. This is our beautiful big dog park where everyone can bring their dogs, big and small, and run them off leash. And everybody comes here. It's got picnic sheds, it's got toilets, it's fully fenced. So it's a great little day out. We come here. There's all my puppies, Minx and Fergie and Charlie. It's quite a few acres. It's probably seven acres. Actually goes, there's footpaths all the way through now. They've only been put in the last 12 months because it was getting very muddy. And then there's a beautiful big black standard poodle snoodle over there. Okay. It's got little taps and doggy bowls everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Look at that beautiful big standard boy. Okay. And they all play happily together. That's the big and the little of it. Okay. He's bigger than you, Fergie, isn't he? Hey. It's quiet this time of the day, but you come here about six o'clock in the morning and it's packed before everyone comes to work. Look at that big gorgeous thing. Hey, Mingsy quite likes her. Hey. It's another little girl. So lots of room here for all the big doggies to run. It's nice and shady in the summer, all the trees up over the back. Oh, that's Minxy. I'd have missed you. Hey, Minx. Minx loves the park, don't you, Minx? She loves the park. Hey. Loves the park. This is just one of the silly things our council do. They put a child's playground in the park, a dog park, not fenced, and then they put a sign up saying no dogs allowed, penalties apply. They're pretty good, aren't they? I don't know if you can read that. It says no dogs, penalty apply. And it's in the middle of the dog park with a child's playground. How silly. And here's another one. This is, they've got a botanic gardens in here. Also, where your dogs aren't allowed to go. We've got a couple of swimming dams. Also, where your dogs aren't allowed to go. You try telling some of these Labradors and Staffies and things that they're not allowed to have a swim. So yes, we are in the land of the ridiculous. Got the good old toilet block which comes in handy because you think you're going to take your dog for a half an hour walk and everyone talks to you and some days you're here for two hours especially on the weekend if anyone had a little mobile coffee van and brought it here they'd make a fortune here comes a little pomeranium to say hello and he's got a mum and a baby in a pram good exercise place the mums come here and do a few laps of the park while walking their doggies and walking the babies. It's the botanical gardens all through there. Good on your mum. Mink saying hello to the pom. And the pom's off to follow mum. Got another picnic shed over there. 
They do have barbecues, but it's only right at the front gate. Charlie going to say hello to the little sausage dog. Come on, everybody. Minxy. Here comes our little three-legged baby. Come on, darling. There you go, and off he goes. Hey. Great little three-legged dog. We've got little wooden bridges. Oh yes, mum and dad with the screaming child <laughs> walking their doggies. Hey. Having a great time. That's more of the botanical gardens over there that the dogs aren't allowed in. So it's very bushy. Beautiful for summer. Hey. Hello. Hello. It's all right, Charlie. Yeah, that's all right. Hey. Hey. Do you want to play? Hey, he wants to play. Good morning. Yeah, he's, he's only got three legs, that puppy dog. What happened? Oh, we don't really know. Someone found him with the leg broken and it, they couldn't fix it, so they take it off. But he's had it off seven years now. He's doing good. Yeah. That's Charlie. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Say hello, Fergie. Charlie will let you pat him. Charlie. Charlie's nice. There you are. Huh? Yeah. Say hello, Fergie. Huh? Yeah. Sit, Minx. Sit. Yeah, Minx is a bit scared. He's a bit scared. Sit. Yeah, here you go. Pat this one. Here, I'll hold him. Quick pat. Here. Hey. Quickly, quickly, Mum and Dad's waiting. Stay. Sit. Here. There you go. There you go. Hey. Hey. So we're walking up the hill now. <laughs> Twelve months ago I was jogging around here, but old Fatty Arbuckles decided to come back. There's Minxy, so that's where we started off, way over there. That's our puppies going up the hill. Charlie Poodle Noodle. That's very thick bush in there. Um, I don't let my dogs go in there. In summer, snakes have come out of there. So we just stick to the footpath. They have a full-time gardener here. We had really bad weather Australia Day weekend. So these are lots of branches that have fallen off the tree. Um, some of the trees they deem dangerous that might fall on top of people they've cut down. They do all their own mulching. It's fairly well looked after. Come on, Fergie. 
Good girl. Come on, Minxie. Come on, darling. Minx is having a little pant after walking up that hill on these three legs. You okay, darling? Oh, good boy. Good boy. So there's a huge pile of garden mulch. I'm sure if people could get their own trailers in and take a load. Um, I'm guessing they use it around all the parks, so wouldn't need that much mulch for this park. Um, and that would be trees they've cut down because they're worried they're going to rot and fall over. It's, um, some of the trees would be very old here, I'm guessing. They're up the hill a bit further now from the lake. As you can see, that looks very inviting to a dog. All the footpaths all the way through. It is a beautiful, peaceful place to come. They have a little training section here if you want. Weave posts, tables, little jumps and ramps. Some people use it, not very often though, but still a good idea. The holes in the fence they can jump through. Hang on guys, I'll get you some fresh water. They've got um, probably half a dozen taps all the way through the park. our little local bowling club across the road there. They do meals, they have raffles on a Friday night if you want to go. Oh, comes all the big doggies coming up the hill. Some beautiful trees out in flower at the moment. Our day out 